What's up, Fit Body Nation? I hope you're ready to rock and roll today. We've got a fast-paced workout coming at you, just like always. And today's workout, we're gonna call it Push It, because you're gonna be pushing the limits. We're gonna push it, and we're gonna push it hard today. So this is gonna be a 30-minute workout. Um, we're gonna be playing with dumbbells a little bit today, so make sure you got your dumbbells on hand. And then the last 10 minutes is gonna be fast-paced cardio all the way through this. So let's make sure that you got your yoga mat, check. Make sure you got your dumbbells, check. And make sure you got some water or something to drink during the workout, check. All right, clear your schedule, 30 minutes. Let's kill this thing. So we're gonna start with a warm up. All right, so we've got that going. We're gonna start with a high knee. Let's get the blood flowing on this. All right, now with our warm up today, we're only gonna spend about three minutes on it. So we're not gonna spend five minutes on it, but we are gonna touch on everything just to get fully loosened up, okay? So just hang with me on this. Now, I hope you guys signed up or registered or at least took the time to look and find a 5K race around November 5th, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're probably new or you didn't see the last couple workout videos. But with our new six week series that we're doing at the end of the six weeks, we're all gonna do a 5K together. Whether you're across the world from me or you live right here locally, it doesn't matter. Just find a 5K around your area for November 5th, okay? Whether it's a week before that or during or a week after, doesn't matter. All right, let's take it into jumping jacks. There you go. So we're gonna get the blood flowing pretty early on with this warm up. That's it, good. Excellent. So keep it up, keep working. We won't have a whole lot of rest in the workout today for the full 30 minutes, but the, at least with the dumbbell exercises, those will be a little bit slower paced and they'll allow you to catch your breath and breathe, okay? All right, keep it up, keep working. Now let's take it into squats. Whew, okay into squats good there we go all right we're at the halfway mark at three minutes so we've got about a minute and a half left we'll keep it keep it pretty steady on this nothing too crazy all right keep those squats going because we are going to be doing some squats today with dumbbells so all right let's take it out to a side lunge really get nice and wide with it stretch it out hold it for just a second back to center Nice and wide, hold it, stretch it out back to center. Good. Now, reverse lunge stretch, so step it back. Good, hold it for a second, and back to center. All right, stepping back, hold it for a second, and now back to center, good. All right, so we're gonna loosen, swing the arms. We've got about 30 seconds, give or take, so not a whole lot of time left. All right, and we will be going straight into the first exercise. So we're gonna stop there with our last 30 seconds on the warm up. This will be our first little additional rest. So dumbbells in hand, and we're gonna go from one exercise to the next exercise. No stopping, no resting in between, except when we get to the very last exercise. And we'll rest for one minute between the rounds, okay? All right, we're gonna be starting a dumbbell squat in 10 seconds. So I want you to hold the dumbbells to your side, weight on your heels, feet at shoulder width apart, in three, two, one, let's go. All right, so on this, we don't have to go super fast starting out. We are gonna get some cardio in today though, okay? So you can pace yourself on this. You will definitely get a good sweat on, I promise you. We've saved it for the last 10 minutes of the workout though. All right, keep the weight on your heels, good steady pace, not too fast. There you go, and we're not worried about a rep count on this because we are doing it for time. So we're gonna do this one for one solid minute, and from this, we're gonna be moving on, okay? There you go, you got it, keep it up. So we're focused on hitting some of the big muscles in our legs with this one. That way we can increase our calorie burn. And with yesterday's workout and today's workout, I can tell you tomorrow, Wednesday, you are gonna be hungry. Your appetite is gonna be a lot higher, okay? All right, eight seconds left. Then we're taking it into a squat press. In four, three, two. All right, bring the dumbbells up to your shoulder. I want you to squat low and use the momentum from the squat to press the weight up. Squat low, press the weight up. Good. There we go, come on. Squat, press the dumbbells overhead. Good. 
That's it, keep it up. Again, you don't have to worry about going super fast. When you bring the dumbbells down though, don't rest them on your shoulder, okay? Keep them right above your shoulder. Good, match my pace. That way you're not trying to speed through this. I see you, I know you're wanting to speed through this and go fast. Don't, we need to conserve our energy. Plus we've got four rounds of the dumbbell work, okay? So four solid rounds. Here we go. All right, you're doing perfect on this. We are gonna be going onto our back next on the ground. So hopefully you got your yoga mat out. Mine is still soaking wet from the rain, but we'll give it another day or two to dry out. And on your back. All right, so now you can take it into a chest press, okay? Chest press, chest press. Once you got the chest press going, you're gonna go into a leg raise. Here's how I want you to do it. As you go up with the weight, raise your feet up. As you go down with the weight, lower them down. But don't let them touch the ground. There we go. So up and down. Up and back down. Perfect. You got it. Don't stop on this. Try to maintain the leg raise with the press all the way through it. Good. Come on, we can do it. Keep on moving, keep pressing, keep the dumbbells going, keep working. We got 14 seconds left. Not a lot of time left. Good, you got this. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one, back up to your feet real quick. Now we're gonna take it into a bent over row with a fly. So you're gonna row, now fly. Good, so row, Bring the dumbbells up at the same time. A nice wide reverse fly after that. One, and one, one, and one. All right, keep working on this. Bring them up at the same time. Lower them down at the same time. And keep that fly going at the same time. No matter what weight you're using, just keep it slow enough. That way you can keep proper form on this. Whoo, come on, we got it. That's it, all right. Good news is 23 seconds left. Bad news is, huh, there's not really any bad news. Just good news today. All right, so 14 seconds left. Then we get a minute to rest. Almost there, but do not stop early. You'll hear the beep, don't worry. Come on, three, two, one, relax. All right, so shake it off. We've got one minute to rest. Then we're going back through those same dumbbell exercises again, okay? Ooh, so get some water, pre-workout, whatever you need to drink. So yesterday, I added the, uh, the timer to the workout, which I've been wanting to add to workouts for a long time, but I didn't really know how to do it. I guess there's some secret function with the simple little timer that you see. Right now, I'll throw it up, okay? It crashed my entire system yesterday. So what should have taken me like two hours, each one of those vid these videos, Normally it takes between two to four hours. That's about average. Um, not a huge deal. Yesterday, it took me like 18 hours, it seemed like. I think it was actually 12 hours altogether. Um, it just kept crashing the system, crashing the system, crashing the system. Absolutely sucked. But I think today should go smooth. All right, second round, dumbbell squats. And here we go. So feet at shoulder width again. Keep the weight on your heels. I want you to see if you can go even lower this time. I'm trying to touch my dumbbells to the ground. There you go. Good. That's it. So whether you get that low or not, not a huge deal, but you get as low as you can. There we go. Perfect. This is definitely gonna go by quick. That's it. And you should be able to get about 15 good reps out in the minute, okay? If you're getting a whole lot more than that, slow it down a little bit. There we go. It is a humid day outside. There is no wind. And all the rain that we've gotten, it is humid. That's okay, though. I think the mosquitoes are finally starting to slow down. I've only been bitten once today. So, normally I've already been chewed up and spit back out by this time. All right, now, dumbbell squat press. Bring the dumbbells up. We're going to squat. Press the weight overhead. Remember, when you bring them down, do not rest them. Press them right back down. Let's go. Come on, you got this. Keep your toes pointed forward. 
feet a little past shoulder width or right at shoulder width. Good, that's it. And keep your abs tight. Keep them tight. There you go. That means literally flexing your abs, keeping the core tight, keeping your back tight. Good, come on. Keep working on this, you got it. That's it. Excellent. Come on. Squat and press all day long. You got it. Let's move with it. Keep pushing, I'm proud of you. I'm super proud of you. Keep working. Ah, excellent. Eight seconds. You got this, come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now on your back. Chest press. Do you know how to do? Okay, now remember, once the weight goes up, press up. Weights go back down, lower your legs back down. Same time. Good. We got this. We're almost halfway through with the weights. Not quite, but close. That's it. Keep working. We got it, doing good. Come on. Almost there. Keep moving, we're not gonna stop till we hear that beep. Come on, see if you can get at least 10 more reps. That's one. That's two, come on. That's three. Almost there. Four. Here we go. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Come on. Eight, still keeping good form. Nine. And 10. And perfect. All right, now, bent over rows with a reverse fly. So up to your feet if you haven't already. Row it, back down, wide fly. Row it, back down, wide fly. Come on, you got it, that's it. We do have our rest coming up next, so I think you're gonna make it. I believe you are. We'll see what happens though. Ah, here we go, here we go. So it's gonna put us two rounds in. Two rounds in, two rounds left on the dumbbells. All right, keep working. Bring them all the way up. Don't halfway it. Come on. Nice and wide with the flies. Good. There we go. 18 seconds left. Good clean reps on it. Almost there. You got 10 seconds and counting. We got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and. Time on that, catch your breath, okay. So one minute, definitely get some water. Can you see the sweat on my face? I feel like it's just dripping. All right, whew. So, you're doing good. Doing good, doing good. You got mm, 20 seconds left. Enjoy it. This time, going back into squats. What I want you to do this time is I want you to hold the dumbbells in front of your chest, just like you'd be holding them up to your chest. We're gonna make this a front squat. So it's gonna pull you forward a little bit. And this will hit your quads in a little bit different area, okay? Whoo, and three, two, one, here we go. Dumbbells up, keep them in front of the body. Squat nice and low, good. Try to bring your squat low enough that your elbows almost touch your knees or your thighs. They may not, but try to get that low with them. Perfect, you got it. That's it. I'm definitely dripping sweat, making little piles, little puddles below me here. Hopefully you're getting the same thing. Good. All right, keep working. Down and up. We're matching the same pace we were when we started this thing. Not slowing down, not speeding up. Right in the same place. Dumbbells are the same. Hopefully you still got two in hand. Come on. But even if you got to set one down to modify, that's perfectly fine. Just keep that pace consistent. We're gonna build up the muscle tone. That way, instead of looking like little skinny runners, we're gonna look like toned, extremely defined runners, which is what I prefer. All right, squat press. Three, two, one. Let's go with it. Good. Excellent, okay. Come on, we got this. Almost there. We got the chest presses with the leg raise coming up next. Got about 40 seconds left of the squat and the presses. Not a lot of time. Definitely feeling this one this time. Come on, we got it. Doing excellent. That's it. Okay, 
We've got less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. You're doing perfect. If we can get through the third round, the last round won't be that difficult. Pretty much because it's the last round. 14 seconds. Come on. Get the squat. Get the press. Six more seconds. Three. Two. One. Good. All right, chest press with the leg raise. Okay, here we go. Perfect. All right. Let's keep working on it. I think last time we did 10 reps in about 30 seconds. So, see if you can double that, but not speeding too much. Don't rush through it. Perfect. Ooh. Come on, we got it. Let's go. Keep moving. Almost there. Not quite, but close. We are close. We're about halfway, honestly, with the entire workout. Just got to make it through this dumbbell set. And on to the next one. So we're going to do it one rep at a time. One rep at a time. Don't rush yourself. Come on. Five seconds. Give or take. I can't really see. And three, two, one. Good. Up to your feet. All right, here we go. Row with fly. All right, row it up. Nice wide fly. Good. Row it up. Nice wide fly. Row it up. Nice wide fly. All right, keep that pace with me. Keep the pace. It's a little fast, but I know you can do it. Then after this, we've only got our last round. Okay? Then we're going into cardio, which we'll be moving so fast on. You won't even worry about the rest. It'll just be over sooner. As soon as it starts, it'll feel like it's over, pretty much. <sighs> Come on, we got this. You got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds. <sighs> Almost there. Good. 10 seconds. <sighs> Keep it working. Five seconds. <sighs> Try to get one more rep out. <clears throat> Uh, okay, all right, so we got one minute to rest now This is our final round on the dumbbells here So let's get some water Enjoy this last minute to rest because once we finish the dumbbell work I believe we'll have a pretty uh, quick rest probably a minute I'd have to go and scroll down and see what I said in here But I believe it's a minute of rest then we're gonna be going into our cardio which will actually have six exercises but we're breaking them into threes. So we're gonna do three exercises as fast as we can, rest for one minute, three more exercises as fast as we can, then the workout will be over, okay? I believe it's right at 30 minutes. All said and done, okay? All right, 12 seconds left, enjoy it. Man, those rests go by so fast. So stinking fast. Okay, in five, four, get your dumbbells ready, three, two, one, here we go. Now this last set, I'm gonna keep my feet right at shoulder width, okay? The, the last three rounds, I've kept it past shoulder width. Today, I'm bringing it in a little bit closer for this last set, but not a whole lot. Just a teeny tiny bit. Okay, all right, doing good. That's the last set of squats we're gonna be doing with the dumbbells, so make it count. We do have squat presses, I know, but this is the last plane set. Let's so really get your money's worth out of this one. Get those results. Come on. That's it. Weight on the heels. Up and down. Try to keep your head up when you squat. Even though I have a habit of looking at the ground like this, that actually curves your back a little bit. So you don't get perfect form out of it. If you're looking up or forward, you'll have perfect form. For the most part. A few other things you can correct, but no worries. And relax on that. Okay, dumbbell squat press. Bring them up. I'm going at shoulder width now. And pressing. Good. Excellent. That's it. We got it. Come on, we can do this. We're good and we're close. Perfect. All right. That's it. A few more seconds on this squat press. Then we'll be taking it down into our chest press with the leg raise. Woo. 
I need to get some gloves. My hands are sweaty. I can't hold the dumbbells. They're slipping, slipping, slipping. Definitely don't want to drop a dumbbell on your toe. Not a good feeling at all. All right, we got 12 seconds left. Come on, you got this. Eight seconds. Almost through it. Four, three, two, and one. Dumbbell chest press on your back with the leg raise. Okay, here we go. Oh, mosquito bit my nose. All right, here we go. So press, right back down. Good. Okay, I'm gonna see how many reps I can get in this. We'll keep it a pretty steady form. So I'm gonna count out loud if you wanna hang. You may be ahead of me because I stalled out in the beginning because my nose was itching. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, come on. 13, what you got? 14, there we go. 15, 16, 17, 18, come on, 19, 20, let's keep working, 21, 22, 23, come on, 24, and time on that. All right, bent over row with a reverse fly. Let's do this. Okay, up and wide, up and wide. Almost there, alternate if you need to. Try to maintain both those dumbbells you got. Wide. There we go. Row. Wide row. Perfect. Row. Wide row. Oh yeah. How's your grip feeling? Mine's starting to wear out. My hands are getting tired. Hard to hold the dumbbells. But we got 20 seconds. So we can do anything for 20 seconds. So we're going to do this. Come on, you got it. 15 seconds and this part's over. The basic, plain and simple, old school stuff is over. Then we're getting into some new exercises. Three, two, one, and relax, one minute. All right, set your dumbbells down because you don't need them anymore. All right, we do have one minute to rest. So get you some water while you're drinking water. I'm gonna look at the workout so that way I know exactly what we're doing. Okay. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna grab a yoga mat because I will need it as a marker for this. So hopefully you got yours. And here is what I'm gonna be doing. Our feet is gonna be on the yoga mat as a uh, anchor point only. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. And what we're gonna be doing, you will wanna make sure you got plenty of room for this. I'm a little squeezed tight, but we're going to be going around the yoga mat. It's called round the clock. All right, and we're starting in five, four, three, two, one. So feet on the yoga mat. You're going to do a push up, walk it over a little bit. You're going to do a push up, walk it over a little bit. Each one of these exercises will be for one minute. So with your goal with the round the clock here, is try to go all the way around right back to where you started at, okay? Perfect, that's it. Hopefully your yoga mat isn't still soaked with water or rain, perfect. Okay, that's it, you got it, keep working. My face is in the bush, all right, here we go. Come on, we got it, we got it. Almost there. You're doing great. Might be getting tired, I know I am, but we've only got 10 seconds left. Come on, you got this. Try to get a couple more push-ups. Maybe one more, and up to your feet. All right, we're going into the hurricane. We did this the other day. So jumping jacks, 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 to the side. One, you're doing 10 butt kicks. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Back to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
and then high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, eight, nine, ten. We got 20 seconds. Let's see if we can get it. One, two, three. Faster. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Butt kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, moving on from there. So now a side shuffle with a burpee. So here we go. Start with the burpee, down, up, and then side shuffle. Don't do the jump, okay? Down, back up, side shuffle. Stay low with the side shuffle. Okay. And distance wise, you can travel as much room as you have. I'm not using a whole lot of room, so mine's gonna be a very short back and forth side shuffle. Perfect. All right, come on, we got this. But try to at least get five, six, seven burpees out in our minutes time. We got about 20 seconds left, give or take. Good, there we go. All right, we got this, come on. I'm definitely starting to get tired. Ah, wearing down on this one. I think it's humidity more than anything. In three, two, one. Okay, cool thing is we get one minute to rest up. Oh man, so catch your breath, breathe. All right, so one minute to rest. And even better news is after this rest, we've only got three more exercises and then we're done with it for the day. Oh man, yeah, it's definitely warm outside. Okay, the next three are gonna suck though. And you will need your dumbbells for one of these exercises, so just go ahead and get them ready now. So that way they're close to you when we get to them. Okay, all right. So we got 22 seconds left, so relax. This will be our last rest until we're done. Last rest. And this is our last three minutes, so I want you to go as hard as you can for the last three. We're gonna be starting with a suicide squat. You can just follow along with me on this one. Okay, three, two, one, all right, we're gonna start with the regular squat. One, two, three, four, all the way to 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now squat jumps. One, two, three, all the way to 10. Four, five, six, come on. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Quarter squat, drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, squat hold for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Back to squats, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in time. All right, now we're going into a renegade row with a squat jump. So here's what we're gonna do. Push up with a row, and then push up with a row, up to your feet, squat jump. Right back down, come on. Here we go, push up with a row, push up with a row. Good, up to your feet, and tuck jump or squat jump. Either one. I like tuck jumps, they're a lot harder, but squat jumps work as well, and if you can't do that, do a regular squat. Good. And perfect. Come on, we got this. 25 seconds left. There we go. Push up with a row. Come on, get that. Push up with a row. Back up. And squat jump or tuck jump. All right, 10 seconds left. Come on. Push up. Row. Push up. Row. Push up. Back up to your feet and jump. Come on, we got time. All right, actually now, we're going to a burpee with a jumping jack. So here's what we're gonna do. One jumping jack, one burpee. One jumping jack, one burpee. Time is rolling. I know you're sweating. We need burpees, squat jumps, half squat jumps, shuffles we've done. I know your heart rate's gotta be up there, mine is. For sure. Come on. One burpee, one jumping jack. 
Now let's do one burpee, two jumping jacks. Now one burpee, three jumping jacks. One, two, three. Gotta mix it up every now and again. Another burpee, four jacks. One, two, three, four. Come on, here we go. One burpee and five jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Good body nation. We absolutely dominated, dominated today's workout. Thank you for sticking with me on this. I love you guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you get registered, signed up, tag me in the comments with the 5K that you're doing. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Share this video with anybody you think would want to be a part of this community. Boom. I love you guys.